cube. So in our previous version, if there was this cube 7 that was big and in the way, and was blocking things out, for example, cube 7, put it in the middle, and let's make it massive. Let's make it 45 by 45, 7, 45, brilliant, so it'll appear there any second. There it is, okay, so there's, there's cube 7, right? We'll leave it as a text one. And we're going to turn the scale right up, okay? So cube 7 is massive, and it's on top. I'm going to just grab cube 7, wherever it is. There it is, and I'm just going to wham it right above everything else. So it should appear on top, and it's going to be huge. It's twice as big. There we go. And uh, it is actually slightly see-through. Maybe we'll switch out. I obviously didn't, didn't turn on the... Um, oh, I know why. I've got a refractive material on that. So we'll just quickly... We'll just quickly jump in. Uh, you won't need to do this, guys, because I would have cleaned up this little kink by the time you get this file. But I will jump in, and I will just tell this material not to be so see-through. Cool. That was easily done. Maybe I'll just tone it down as well. It's a little bit bright don't you think it's a little bit bright and it's very reflective let's set that to be less so let's have a little look it's quite nice refractivity let's put that to five cool I can deal with that that looks all right so now our material isn't see-through bada bing bada boom cool now you guys can see that it's in the way okay and it is blocking out everything else. Now, if we run through to the, back to the steps, right? So we're happy with our design. It is a bit big, actually, isn't it? Let's make it a bit smaller. We're happy. With, let's say we've got a design that looks like this. I've actually got a, a stage preset, um, preset pre-rendered media that uh, is called Stepped Arch, and it's got a cube that is slightly blocking out other cubes. So this is quite practical to know this. Um, yeah, if you've got a design that has things that are in front of other things and there's bits in the foreground, with my old product you wouldn't have been able to do this, but with this product you can. So, let's go through the steps, shall we? We've done and then we're happy with our design, and what we want to do is now render this out so each cube can be projected on. But see the back cubes, we're going to project onto those using a different projector, and we're going to project onto our front cube using a secondary, a first and second projector and the reason why is because of faux shadows. Now faux shadows are when you project onto something but there's there's a block in the way so you can't actually, if I was only using one projector on this I wouldn't be able to hit these faces behind this cube because this cube is in my way. You need more projectors than just one to be able to project this, des this particular design because you just can't hit every face completely all at once, that's not possible. So to, to, to project onto such a design, you run through and you get to this point and you see your render. Rather than having a big old cube in the way, like I was just showing you, this product is un unwrapping the cubes, but it's done it in a way that our big, uh, our big number seven cube isn't blocking out anything. Like all of these are self-sufficient in a, in a sense that there's nothing. They're not they're not uh, having the ray casts from that cube, they're not having anything blocking out their particular mapping, they're just taking their own stuff and unwrapping their own business and now if you wanted to go and run this through multiple projectors you could quite easily have one projector that does this cube, one that does this big cube and you could point them in all different directions and that's how that's how you solve this problem. So I just wanted to quickly explain that to you guys and let you, let you know the reasoning why I have adapted how this product works and it's all for the better. So thank you very much guys and I'll see you in the next segment.